Ministry of Defense has presented evidence that Turkey's leaders are involved in oil smuggling from areas controlled by Islamic State in Iraq. Market oil trade is thought to earn Islamic State hundreds of millions of dollars every year. RT's Wanab Gaziev looked at the evidence provided by Russia's Defense Ministry. Some of the accusations we heard were particularly powerful. The gloves really came off this time. The Russian Ministry of Defense accused the Turkish president, his family members, and uh, associates, Turkish elite, of being in on uh, oil smuggling operations by Daesh, by uh, Islamic State. Oil, stolen oil, smuggled from Syria into Turkey. The criminal trade of Islamic State oil involves Turkey's political elite, including President Erdogan and his family. Russia has released this map and satellite images as evidence of the uh, oil smuggling routes used by uh, ISIS, by Daesh. The first one, the westernmost one, transports uh, crude from an oil field near Raqqa, the capital of ISIS, all the way to the Turkish Mediterranean coast, from uh, where this oil is sold internationally. What isn't sold internationally is sold domestically. Uh, usually they transport the oil from here via trucks at night time. The central route is from, from the village of Deir Ezzor, where there is a massive oil production infrastructure uh, all the way up north into Turkey. Near the village of Batman, there's a big oil refinery. Uh, apparently, massive oil convoys have been spotted here. In the east, uh, there are Syrian oil fields and Iraqi oil fields. Again, uh, oil via trucks is transported north to Turkey. Uh, apparently, in mid-November, Russian surveillance craft satellite images revealed a thousand trucks, over a thousand trucks, simultaneously moving oil from Syria into Turkey. Well, the U.S. has reacted to revelations made by Russia's defense ministry that Turkey is buying oil from Islamic State. Pentagon spokesman Steve Warren called Ankara a reliable partner in the fight against terrorists, something which contradicts earlier statements from Washington. We flatly reject any notion uh, that the Turks are somehow working with ISIL. And that is preposterous uh, and, and uh, really very kind of ridiculous. The Turks are great partners uh, to us in the fight against ISIL. Our allies in the region were our largest problem in Syria. The Turks were great friends, and I have a great relationship with Erdogan. What did they do? They poured hundreds of millions of dollars and tens, thousands of tons of weapons into anyone who would fight against Assad. Except that the people who were being, who were being supplied were al-Nusra and al-Qaeda and the extremist elements of jihadis coming from other parts of the world. Now, RT's Gayanet Chichikian was at a U.S. State Department briefing about these allegations. The State Department has really tried to downplay any smuggling of ISIL's oil into Turkey. Was the U.S. Uh, aware of ISIL's oil being smuggled into Turkey? Um, we've talked all the, a long time. I mean, we've been very much aware of ISIL's uh, intent and, uh, in fact, uh, uh, ability to cash in on the oil that it's been uh, pumping out. What we've seen uh, is that ISIL very well, or very often, sells its oil, as I said, at the wellhead. So as it comes out of the ground, there's smugglers, there's uh, middlemen, there's truckers who then take that through these established routes. Uh, some of them, as, as a, you know, no doubt, uh, probably lead to parts of Turkey.
While not certain if some of the oil generated by ISIL indeed goes to Turkey, kept saying the words, you know, maybe, probably, the State Department spokesperson sounded dismissive of the information that Russia provided of what it says are exact locations and routes of how ISIL's oil flows into Turkey and where it goes from there. These aerial images show huge convoys with uh, what Russia says are oil trucks crossing the Turkish-Syrian border unhindered. And, and one of the images shows, and, and there are many, shows 240 trucks on the Turkish side of the border and over 40 similar trucks on the, on the Syrian side of the border. Again, I'm are you saying that it doesn't raise any red flags here? Well, look, what I'm trying to say is that there's no uh, uh, Turkish government uh, uh, complicit, complicity in some operation to, to buy uh, illegal oil from uh, from ISIL. It's just it, we just don't believe that to be true. It, Can you speak for the entire for all elements of the Turkish government? Are you able to? Matt, are you able to so, say that there isn't anyone? I mean, how, how are you so sure? We work very closely with the Turks. We've yeah. been in uh, dialogue with them, discussions with them. Uh, they're a NATO ally uh, and a trusted partner. So the State Department sounded certain of only one thing, is that it is that the Turkish leadership could in no way be responsible for the oil smuggling, which the U.S. is not even, the U.S. State Department, it is not even certain that is happening. Former Pentagon official Michael Malouf says it's time the Turkey ISIL oil leaks were exposed so that action can be taken. It's been known for about a year and a half ever since ISIS has occupied Mosul, uh, going back a year and a half, that... Uh, the uh, oil, oil train, if you will, goes passes through Turkey, and and the one thing that uh, that uh, uh, ISIS is doing is selling oil to the Turks at half the market price. I've seen uh, separate satellite pictures of, of these uh, trains already, and uh, I, I think it's going to be incumbent for uh, President Putin to put it in a nice package and present it with a big bow to the United Nations and to the and to the various capitals. In, in, uh, in London, in, in Paris, including the United States, and really start uh, being very public about it and, and put pressure on these countries to, to put pressure in turn onto Erdogan to stop what he's doing. Well, Virginia's state senator Richard Black told RT that Washington is capable of stopping the rise of Islamic State, but is instead backing forces that are aiding the terrorists. The Kurds have closed off the, the vast bulk of the Turkish border. The Turks rushed to the United States and said, look, let's create sort of a no-fly zone there. Uh, and, and we agreed that they did that. And within that zone, west of Kobani, uh, they launched 300 airstrikes. 297 of those airstrikes were against our Kurdish allies. If the United States seriously wanted the war to end, it would stop clearing those gaps in the Turkish border, allow the, allow the Kurds to close the gaps, and, and the oil supply would, would be cut off and the war would end. We're supplying arms and we're supplying a logistics route for oil and fuel. Uh, oil goes out, fuel comes back in uh, to fuel the, the uh, terrorist tanks, Humvees and, and other weapons that they have they have captured from the United States. Well, as accusations mounted against Turkey, President Erdogan raised the stakes. He promised to resign if the allegations that Ankara is buying oil from terrorists are proven to be true. RT's Harry Fear reports. Well, Erdogan has now reacted angrily, saying that today Russia slandered his country. He still says that Turkey's conscience hasn't stooped low enough so as to trade oil with ISIL. He'd really thrown down the gauntlet, saying that he'd resign, leave office, if evidence was provided that Turkey was buying oil from terrorists. Today, at that special briefing, Russia apparently did just that, providing apparent vivid uh, aerial and satellite imagery, and even open sourcing it and telling investigative journalists to examine it. The accusations therein that uh, Turkey, of course, a NATO member and wannabe member of an EU bloc,
has apparently been uh, brazenly uh, stealing oil from its neighbor, war-ravaged country. Erdogan has reacted angrily. He says nobody has the right to slander Turkey by saying it has been buying ISIL oil. So he's clearly not planning to step down any time soon. Now Erdogan has uh, long played the denial card in the face of these sorts of accusations. Indeed, he's been extending a crackdown on